lecture. So, last class we have seen that uh, how to solve the what is called optimization problem using the KKT condition necessary and sufficient conditions. And we also seen that there is a inequality constraints is there and equality constraints are there. If inequality constraints that x of k is less than 0 for j is equal to 1 to n that is 1 to small p m j. If this constant this 0 is part up with a small positive numbers agree then and also the equality constraints is this is right hand side is part up with a some positive number agree i is equal to 1 to there are such p equality constant then what is the effect of objective function value of this we have studied it. In other words we have studied the sensitivity analysis after what is called post analysis we have studied it and also we have studied the effect of cost function scaling on the Lagrangian multiplier effect of cost function scaling on the Lagrangian multiplier and also we have studied the what is the effect of scaling on constants that constant this these are the constant if you what is the effect of scaling if you multiply by this p i and h h i is multiplied by m p i and g i g j of x inequality constant multiplied by m i then what is this effect on the Lagrangian multipliers that we have studied it. So, today I will start in what is called convex set and convex function. So, what is convex set? A set is a convex suppose this is the set this set will be convex if any point on this set if you take any point on this set this is the set S the set S is a convex set if we take any point on this set agree any point on this and form a line segment agree then this any point on the line segment belongs to that set then we will call this this is the convex set. So, what we can write a set S is convex if the line segment the line segment between between two points any two points between any two points lying in any two points in S in that set okay, lies the line segment between any two points in S lies in that set in S then we will call that set is a convex set. So, let us call we have a this set is there we form a line segment by joining the point P 1 and P 2. Okay. So, these two points that P 1 and P 2 we join any point on this line segment belongs to that if there that set is there in that set then we will call the set is convex set. Agree? So, in convex set we can always write it let us call x is a any point here this p is a point whose vector is x 1 this is a vector of x 2 okay? these two points then linear combination of theta or you can say that alpha into x 1 1 minus alpha into x 2 belongs to that set. So, if you consider it is a single variable case for the, this, this x 1 and x 2 there are two points are there you join with these two points agree then any points on this line any points on the line if it belongs to that set that is what is called S set it can be in n dimensional variables x 1 x 2. So, only the condition is if you consider this is alpha 1 and this is the alpha 2. So, alpha 1 plus alpha 2 must be equal to 1. Then when alpha 1 is let us call here when alpha is 0 when alpha is 0 is nothing but a x 2 point this this point 
when alpha is 1 is nothing but a x 1 point. So, any point alpha alpha value any point between 0 to the alpha value is is less than equal to greater than equal to 0. So, any point alpha between 0 to 1 indicates the corresponding point on the line. If all the points on the line belongs to that set then this will be called as a convex set. So, we can see this one by let us call we have a simple octagon regular octagon. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. The, okay. This is I am drawing octagon like this way. This is the circle. Agree. So, this, this, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, these are the octagon. So, if, if this, this octagon belongs to a set S, let us call this belongs to the set at any point on this line, any point on this, this octagon, if you join together, let us call P 1 and this is a P 2, this point is P 2, any point on this line, two points x 1 and x 2 or P 1 point P 2, we join together and any on this line segment, any point belongs to that set, then it is a convex set. So, the octagon of this nature is a convex, this is a convex set, convex set. So, let us call this is a another set is like, like this way. This, this belongs to, this belongs, this is a set, S set, but in this case any point on this set does not belongs to that set. You see any point a this is P 1, this is P 2. If you make a line segment like this way, agree? and the any points on this segment, this point, this point, these points are not belongs to that set. So, this is not a convex set, this is not a convex set, what we will call non convex set. So, in this set, this is the point, this is the point. If you join these two point thinking I have just considering as a chord we have joined it. So, any point on this line does not belong to that set. So, this is not a convex set, it is a non convex set. So, geometrically if you have a set is there, you just join two points okay, in that set and you will form a chord. If all the points on the chord belongs to that set, then it is a convex set. In geometrically you can say chord between two points you join a line or line segment. If any points on this line segment belongs to that set, then it is a convex set. Next is convex function. And convex set, this condition must be satisfied. Any point x 1 and x 2 and it is a alpha 1, alpha 1 is 1 minus alpha, the alpha 1 plus alpha 2 must be equal to 0 or equal to 1. So, if you have a <coughs> this you can write it. Now, a convex function, a function is said to be a function in general of n dimensional, a function of n dimensional variable, n variables. So, let us call this function is f of x n cross 1 variable defined that function is defined on a convex set. Agree? That function is defined on a convex set, the function is defined variable defined on a convex set S is said to be convex function, is said to be convex function is said to be is said to a convex function if and only if necessary and sufficient condition for any two point 
any two point, two points x 1 whose dimension you can say n cross 1 and x 2. Any two points on that set in x and set is your s on that dimension of this is x 2 dimension n cross 1 this and there is a scalar quantity theta is greater than equal to this or let us call since I have used alpha use alpha is greater than this. Then one can write it this one f of alpha into x 1 plus 1 minus alpha into x 2 equal to less than equal less than equal to f alpha less than equal to alpha into f of x 1 plus 1 minus alpha f of x 2. If this condition is satisfied then we will call the function is a convex function in the convex set this condition is satisfied. One can easily see this one by a single variable case and that can be extended for a n variable function case. So, what is the definition of convex function? A convex function n a function of n variable is said to be convex function if it in a set as if and only if this condition is satisfied and where that our if you consider the alpha is let us call alpha 1 this you consider is a alpha 2 then alpha 1 plus alpha 2 is equal to 1. Okay. So, two points that now see this one this two point when alpha is 0 it indicates the x 2 points in n dimensional vector x 2 point when alpha is 1 it indicates the x 1 point in n dimensional vectors alpha in between 0 to 1 any value that indicates the any value on this vector that x 1 and x 2 within this within the with these two points that vector what will generate it indicates any point on that vectors for any values of alpha from 0 to alpha from 0 to greater than 0 to 1. So, if this condition is satisfied then we will call the function is a convex function in that convex set. So, let us see with an example of this one <coughs> this that is if this is a this this condition is there then the function will be said to be a convex function okay. and it is a strictly convex strictly convex strictly convex function convex function when this condition is satisfied alpha into x 1 1 minus alpha into x 2 this is less than equal to not equal to less than equal to previously it is a less than convex form. Now, I am telling it is a strictly convex if this function value is less than equal to alpha into f of x 1 1 minus alpha into f of x 2 values. So, what is this just say for a single variable case what is the meaning of that one. So, suppose this is the function f of x. Now, you consider this is a single variable case x is a one variable. So, single variable this is f of x this is the function plot. So, we take a two points here let us call p is the point whose coordinates are let us call x axis x 1 this is p 2 is there two points on the line on the curve function is x 2. So, I told you that with these two points draw a straight line which is nothing but a chord you can say it is a chord. So, this indicates you see if it is a function is convex according to the definition that any point on this line between x 1 and x 2 any point I can express like this way any point on this line let us call x any point from x x 1 to x 2 any point x is equal to I can write alpha into x 1 
plus 1 minus alpha into x 2 agree or uh, alpha values is greater than less than equal to 1 greater than equal to 0. So, any value of alpha from between this range the x will lies anywhere between the x 1 and x 2. See clearly when alpha is 0 is nothing but a x 2 point, when alpha is the extreme limit when alpha is 1 is nothing but a x 1 point. So, alpha value in between this range it lies between x 1 and x 2. So, the any value between x 1 x n 1 x 1 and x 2 the function value is that one and what is this value x any value in between x 1 and x 2 is that one that expression. So, what is the function value f alpha into x 1 plus 1 minus alpha into x 2 this value this value this coordinate this is the coordinate of that one that x if you consider this is x then this is the coordinate of you can say x and y direction is that that one that is the function of alpha into x 1 1 minus alpha into x 2 this value okay? and this value always less than any point corresponding x what is the value what is the value on the chord value of this equation value on the chord this. So, this 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 quantity always greater than this quantity definitely. Now, how you find out this quantity that is simple geometrical, con geometrical configuration one can find out the equation of the straight line. Once you know the equation of the straight line that any point x what is the coordinate ordinate of this one you can find out which in turn it will be it can be expressed like this way this quantity is less than equal to you see when it will be equal to at the extreme points of the chord the function value and the chord value at the extreme point of p 1 and p 2 both are same that is why equal to sign other than this point these two points this chord any point on the chord okay, fun chord function value y function value that will be always greater than the function value of f of x you see any point here this function value whatever the function value is there at the chord value at this point is greater than this one equation of this equation of this one we if you know because I know the equation how will you know the equation you know the the ordinate of that one change in ordinate and change in x. So, slope you can find out once you know slope and it is a function of x in order to find out the y this function equation. Okay? So, we can write it this one always alpha into x of 1 plus 1 minus alpha x of 2 that is f of x of 2. How will you get this one this point value this point value how you get I told you find out the equation that uh, what is the equation of this straight line agree. Okay? Then you can you find the equation of this straight line then you find out the what value of x what is the ordinate of this one. So, that you can find out and after simplifying this one you will get this, this one. So, if this condition is satisfied if this condition is satisfied it indicates that function is convex function and belongs to the in convex set that is this. One can easily verify that one by the finding out the equation of this straight line or chord equation between point 1 and point 2 and find out the value of this function value of this chord, chord value that this equation value at x result to x 1 is nothing but that one after simplifying. So, this is our convex what is the definition of concave function definition of concave concave function is similar way one can find out <coughs> the similar way one can find out that the two points are there let us call this is the function f of x that let us call single variable case we are explaining then we can extend for n dimensional case. So, this point is p 1 
and this point is P 2, P 2 this is P 1. Draw a curve between these two points, agree? This is x 1 and this is x 2, agree? Now, you can find out that linear combination of these two points, agree? any points on this line between x 1 and x 2, any points this one, I can express like this way x is equal to alpha into x 1 plus 1 minus alpha into x 2. And this is the definition of our convex set, if you recollect that what we have discussed the convex set is belongs to in the convex x is belongs to this our convex set this one with this expression. And this one alpha varies from 1 to 0. Once again when alpha is 0, this is x 2, when alpha is 1, it is x 1. So, any point on this line, any point on this between the two points, I can take the alpha values in this range greater than 0, less than 1. So, let us call what is the function value? You see in this case, function value at any point between x 1 and x 2, let us call x is always greater than the what is the value of this on the chord, what is the value of this equation of this straight line, okay? what is the y value at this point, it is always less than the function value f of x function value. So, one can write it for convex function in a convex set, I can write it alpha into x 1, same expression 1 minus alpha into x 2 what I will mean? this this is the function value at this point, it is greater than equal to greater than equal to this point function value, this function value and this is the this quantity is that one and this quantity I am writing alpha into f of x 1 plus 1 minus alpha into f of x 2 this one. So, convex function, if this condition is satisfied, agree, then I will call the function is concave function in the convex set. Agree? This one, this you see from graphically also, this nature of the curve is concave curve, provided this condition is satisfied. This, condi this means that x belongs to any convex set agree? and if this condition is satisfied, that function is is a convex function and how one can do it in the similar manner I can do it. Suppose, f is a function, I will define if f is a function which is a let us call concave function, I multiplied by let us call g is equal to minus f. So, this function g function will be a convex function, if it is a convex multiplied by f minus it is a convex function and I know how to, if I can check the g is a convex function in the set S, in other words I can say f is a concave function in the set S, okay? just multiplying f by S. So, <coughs> our definition then convex function is that we can write it the definition for concave function definition of concave function. So, these are these are the chord in the beginning also we told this is the chord joining these two points agree. So, definition of convex function a function f of n variables defined on a convex set, set S. If it is a defined on a convex set S, then any point on the set I can express any point on the on this set x, I can express alpha into x 1 2 points if you know 1 minus alpha into x 1 x 2 
and that x 2 if belongs to that set then it is a convex set in the set S is said to be be a concave if the function function if the function that our f if the function f is multiplied by f minus 1 that g okay, is convex if minus f is a convex then i will call f is a our concave function on that in belongs to that set convex set agree okay. <coughs> so this next is remark let's see remark a linear function is is a convex as well as concave functions just see a linear function is convex as well as concave function any linear function any linear function i can treat as a convex or concave functions let us call this is again it is a single variable case if you see what this is our linear equation that belongs to in a convex set now whether it is a convex function or not or concave function or not you see take two points on this set let us call p1 and p2 join to this join these two points and it is just the same line as the original straight lines so naturally it may be a convex as well as concave function okay? because equality sign is now it is belongs it is just valid equality sign only both cases so you want just remember a linear function it can be a convex function or concave function i can say both this one next is your the properties of that what is called convex functions some properties we will just discuss before we discuss the optimization problem using the what is called convex optimization problems so the properties convexity properties convexity convexity properties so one thing is if s is a convex set if s is a convex set s is a our convex set agree and alpha belongs to our real positive quantity okay alpha is a any positive real quantity then s is a our set which is a convex set this is a convex set this s is a convex set okay then if you multiply it by this convex set by alpha this also a convex set what i am telling if your s is a convex set if you multiply it by that set either you enlarge or you just uh, attenuated this by alpha alpha may be greater than 1 less than 1 okay but positive quantity if it is so this one then alpha into s is also convex set that means if you alpha is greater than 1 the set is enlarged if alpha is less than this one set is contracted okay so this this is one property what is this property if s is a convex set convex set and alpha belongs to that r plus 1 then alpha into s is convex set this is one another property is there if there are two convex set is there agree intersection of two convex set is also a convex set 
we have a two sets are there S 1 and S 2 are the two convex set. Agree? Intersection of these two convex set is also a convex set, but union of two convex set is not a convex set, it is a non convex set. So, we will write it this intersection of intersection of convex sets is convex set. The two sets are there let us call S 1 and S 2, the two sets intersects which one is the intersection of this which one common set is there that belongs to a that common that convex set. That union of two or more convex set the union of of two or more convex set is usually non convex set. That means, you have a S 1 is a convex set, S 2 is convex union of this one let us call this is a convex set and this is a convex set something. Then you see this is the union of this one it is not necessary a convex set, because if you take a one point P 1 is here, P 2 is here, P 2 is there join these two points any points on the line of this one must lie in the convex set, but it is this these points are not belongs to that convex set. So, this is not a union of two or more convex set is not usually not a convex set, whereas the intersection of two convex set the intersection of two convex set this one belongs to a that our convex set. So, this third point is this one. Now, if the if f is a convex function agree f is a convex function you if you multiply it by f by a scalar quantity which is greater than positive quantity which is positive quantity then resultant is a convex function in that convex set agree. So, another property is that if you have a two convex functions are there two convex function f 1 and f 2 two convex function there the sum of these two convex function is also is a convex function. So, last two properties will like this way if f 1 is a convex function if you multiply it by some real positive number this f 1 the resultant is a convex function in that convex set. So, our fourth point is if f is a convex function and alpha is a real positive number then alpha into f of x is a convex function. in that set. Then fifth property is if just now you mentioned if f 1 and f 2 are convex function convex functions on the set S okay, then S then f 1 plus f 2 is also a also a convex function on S. This proof you can do simple by the definition of our convex function that the, our definition of convex function from that one the 4 and 5 you can easily verify this one. Agree? So, if f is a function of convex function I multiply by scalar positive quantity. Agree? So, that function also belongs to that convex set. Now, you write it because f 1 or f, f 1 and f 2 are two convex function on that set. So, you take a any two points on that set write 
what is the condition for f 1 to be convex set right what is the condition for f 2 be convex set then add to th these two things and resultant you see whether you will be able to express in this form. If you can express this form then it is a convex function of that one that can be easily proved. So, these properties are useful in studying the what is called constraint problems constraint optimization problems. So, these properties are very useful properties are very useful useful in the study of constraint optimization problems. Mission problem. So, this. So, let us see some of the facts of convex optimization or convex functions. Agree? So, <coughs> let us call f is a function agree? and belongs to C 2. This indicates C 2 means it is C continuously twice differentiable function is continuously 2 means twice differentiable. If I write 3 it is a 3 times continuously differentiable this function. So, this is a the function f of x is continuously twice differentiable see continuously power 2 means twice differentiable. If this then f of x is convex function convex function over a convex set over a convex set s f, f of s is a convex function over a convex set s containing an interior point agree. So, we have a f of function is there belongs to that set the f of function belongs to that set and there is a interior point one point in the in the set interior point interior point if only if and only if this function is a convex set convex function if and only convex function over the set S agree and continuing a interior point one interior point if and only if the Hessian matrix the Hessian matrix H of f f is a function we know in our earlier lecture how to find out the Hessian matrix that means second partial differentiation of f with respect to x the Hessian matrix if and only if the Hessian matrix is positive semi definite it is positive semi definite through out s set many convex set and in the convex set any point on the convex set any point on the convex set if the hessian matrix of f hessian matrix of f means second partial de de derivative of the function f this is the hessian matrix for over the all points of this set if it is a positive semi definite matrix or positive definite matrix then i will call the function is a convex function agree okay? this is the def in this so, let us see this proof of that one. That means, once again I repeat that one. Suppose, if you have a function f of x and which is belongs to C 2 means continuously twice differentiable, then function is called convex function over the convex set S containing the interior point containing an interior point containing an interior point if and only if the function 
if you do the second derivative uh, that uh, twice if you differentiate this one the function with respect to x which is a hessian matrix and this hessian matrix is positive semi definite over the convex set then we will call the function is a convex functions or this hessian matrix is positive definite matrix also it will be carrying the convex function of this proof. So, let us call we, we have since we are considering that there is a interior point is there in the set of this one. Let us consider by Taylor series expansion now by Taylor's theorem we have suppose we have f of y f of y I am writing y is there is a interior point one y. around this interior point there is a y x is interior point around this one is y. So, I am writing y I am writing as if it is x this is a delta x agree. Now, this equal to by Taylor series expansion I can write nearly equal to f of x plus gradient of this function transpose of f of x at this one agree multiplied by incremental change change y of x mean delta x plus the second terms in the Taylor third terms in the Taylor series or second order terms of this one is half that y minus delta this is a delta x transpose into that Hessian matrix of f of x agree multiplied by y minus x whether x is a vector or scalar this is true this one. So, it is nearly equal to this one. So, f f of y if you bring this part in that side left hand side f of y minus this part is equal to this quantity and this quantity will be positive right hand side will be positive or negative depending upon the value of the hessian matrix over the that our set s. If we can say that hessian matrix value over the set s is a positive semi definite matrix it indicates this quantity is a positive semi definite this quantity that means that <coughs> that this quantity is positive semi definite means this value of this one either it will be 0 or it will be greater than 0 this one. So, now this I can write it now if you just see this one f of y minus f of x plus gradient of this f of x into y minus x this quantity is equal to nearly equal to I can write it half y minus x transpose and I am writing the gradient of that one agree okay. and gradient of this one let us call x that that is that that is a not that is hessian matrix of this one h into y of x. So, now this this side value right hand side value will be positive or 0 when this matrix value over the set s if it is a positive or 0 when it will be this hessian matrix should be positive semi definite. What does it mean? This indicates that this is positive means this indicate f of y is greater than this quantity. Agree? So, let us see what is this meaning of this one f of y is greater than this quantity what is this means. So, I can write it is clearly I can write from the equation that or this x for any value of x in this because I told you this is our x and this is our y. Any point in this I can write it alpha into x plus 1 minus alpha into y 
any point all this one, any point, any two points in this line. So, I can write it this alpha into this, if you can write it this, the y plus y that it is, it is it, this one I can write alpha into x minus y. Just see this one in the x is x is this point, y is this point, I multiplied by this one some positive component alpha means since these two points belongs to that set S, any point joining these two point this curve, any point on this line belongs to that set means it implies that one. So, y is that one, then alpha into x, alpha into x minus minus alpha into y minus alpha into y that one agree okay, this point. So, I can write in place of anything here point of this one x will be now replaced by that quantity you can replace by that quantity any point on this curve uh, on this set I can replace. So, this positive indicates this one positive indicates that this hessian matrix this matrix should be either positive or 0 when this hessian matrix will be positive semi definite matrix. So, this indicates that f of y f of y this indicates that f of y clearly this indicates that f on y will be greater than equal to f of x minus plus sorry plus gradient of gradient transpose of f of x into y minus x this indicates. And geometrically one can see because this is the condition if you see we am writing the f of x is twice differentiable continuous the function is continuous the function is convex function over the set continuing interior point x if and only hessian matrix of s is positive seven unit matrix. So, what is this one if you see for a scalar variable case x and we have a this type of functions is there. So, this is our f of x, this is f of x and y is a some point is here y, this is f of y, this is y and any point in this range we can express by a convex set definition is alpha into x plus 1 minus alpha into y is equal to any point on this you can write it let us call any point on this one is x bar, I can write x bar this one. Okay. So, now see this one, what is this meaning of that one? f of y of function value is that quantity is always greater than, what is the function value is here plus this quantity and what is this? This is the gradient at this point, for scalar case it is nothing but a slope at this point. Okay. Multiplied by change in this one, that means this this, this slope multiplied by this what you will get it that quantity this is the your y minus x agree. So, y minus x and this is the slope of that one slope means this this quantity divided by this quantity that slope is given multiplied by this multiplied by this if you know the slope multiplied by this you will get it this quantity. So, f x minus of this quantity means this quantity indicates this is f of x plus delta f of transpose y minus x this is always get a less than equal to this is always less than equal to that one. Okay. So, therefore, if clearly we can say clearly if the hessian hessian matrix h of the function of the function f of x is positive semi definite everywhere positive semi definite everywhere then function 
then f of x is a convex function everywhere then f of x is a convex function. So, this is that and there is a important theorem is the, the this one that one because this is a convex optimization problem this theorem is most important one that theorem is let f of x whose dimension is n cross 1 be convex function define this function is defined over a convex set this function convex function defined over a convex set s belongs to that of l in n dimensional case then the local minimum is the global minimum then the local minimum minimum provided the function is convex function mind it if the function is convex function over the convex set s then local minimum of this function will give you the global minimum of the of this function local minimum of the function local minimum is global minimum of f x over the set over the set s. So, what is the proof is very simple if you see let us call x star now in the x star which is n cross 1 b a b a local point b a b a point of local minimum this is a local minimum point local minimum agree that that means you have this that at this point is local minimum we got it x star agree so we can write it now f of x star is equal to less than equal to if you take any point around this let us call x so f of x and since it is a local minimum point f of x is less than equal to x star plus x minus x star this is you can say delta x okay x this is the delta x you can say so it is less than this is equal to our f of x this is x so you can write it there is a let us call there is an any now these two points are there and these two point belongs to a, a convex set any point on this line i can write it this one f of x bar this by definition of this one I can write it this equal to what is x bar let us call this point is x bar agree okay? this point is x bar. So, I can write it this x bar is equal to that x alpha into x star alpha into x star plus 1 minus alpha into x is x bar where alpha greater than 1 less than equal to 0 this you can write it now this we can write it by definition of convex function because it is a convex function def definition we can write it that alpha into f star of x plus 1 minus alpha into that what is called f of x we can write it that that one ok since f x is a convex function that that one. So, this we can write it since x bar this is the x star is a optimal point minimum point x bar other than this this. So, I can if I write it in place of x star if I write it x bar this quantity x bar is greater than x star function below because the x star is a optimal point plus 1 minus alpha f of x. So, if you take it this is that side this quantity that side this implies after taking this side this implied f of x bar is less than equal to f of x this agree okay? this we have shown. <coughs> so, this implies and we know f of x star 
is also less than equal to f of x. So, since if you say since f of x, since x is a any arbitrary point, x is any any arbitrary point. Hence, and hence, f star of x is less than of f x. See this one x x that is what we x is any arbitrary point this may be here also this this side because it is belongs to that set now so this we can write it for all x belongs to that set so our conclusion is that x star is a point of the global minimum minimum Okay, because these two points I have taken it this, this this one, these two points belongs to that convex set and x may be any arbitrary any point. And since f x bar is less than f x okay, and we have shown it the f, f, f star is less than this one, it indicates the f star of x is less than any point on the global means in the set itself always this f star is get less than that one. So, it is a global minimum. So, our conclusion is if f x is a convex function over a set S agree? and that minimum point that means, uh, a minimum, local minimum is nothing but a global minimum of the function. If f of x is a convex function then only and over the convex set. So, next class we will just discuss other points. Okay. We will stop it here now.